In this video, I am not going to tell you what questions they ask me. Their questions may vary person to person, team to team, subject to subject, but they have a common approach. So in this video, I am going to tell you that if you are going for a research interview, then how should you prepare and what they want to check in you. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sachin Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I am going to tell you that whenever you are going to appear in an interview, which is basically for a PhD admission or integrated MSc PhD admission. So there are many institutes like in case of TIFR, uh, you, uh, you appear for such interviews. In case of ZEST exam, many research institutes conduct some interviews and after that they uh, select some students uh, for PhD. There are some points you should take care so that it becomes easy for you to understand what is going to happen. So basically for TIFR, ZEST and other research institute interviews for all those preparations I am going to tell you in this video. So here we start. I am going to give you four points basically and just track those four points and it will be easier for you to get admission or get that interview cleared. Whenever you go for an interview, in that case because it is a, a research interview, you will find four to six interviewers uh, at that place sitting in front of you. And Generally, this happens like a senior most starts the conversation. They will ask you, who are you, how are you and uh, such question from where you came. So they will try to make you comfortable at that place. So the first point is prepare at least two best subjects. Whenever you are going for an interview, interviewer will first ask, okay, in which subject you are comfortable the most. I have been to many interviews and I usually say that okay mathematical physics is my best one and then uh, the mathematical physics subject expert will ask some questions after two or three questions he will pass this task to another person and they will again ask you okay what is your next best subject in that case I usually say like okay electromagnetic theory because I am a person from physics so electromagnetic theory is my best one the second best one so Prepare at least two best subjects. You may have many, but preparing two subjects is must. And also, uh, if you want to go for a particular research, consider uh, I, I want to go for material science. In that case, uh, you should you should know about solid state physics as well. The point number one is two best subjects, including the subject you want to opt for your research. Point number two, basic funda is in these interviews, never, never try to bluff them because they are subject experts. So they will catch you. They will easily catch you. No bluffing. And also uh, because they are quite gentle guys and uh, you need not to hesitate in front of them. So first of all, no bluffing, no hesitation. And the third point is don't haste. So when you are given ample time, so why don't you take your time and then express all your feelings with ease. So don't try to make it fast because that will make a, a negative impact on them. Now you are basically in the comfortable position after telling them the subject and you are telling everything. Okay, so this is it. This is it. You are taking your time. Now we are going to discuss the third part. So the third important part in these interviews is go conceptually. So they will ask you some question. They don't want that in this short time you get to the exact answer, but they want your conceptual approach. Do you know the concepts well? They don't want, okay, you should know the whole definition word to word crammed in your brain. No. They just want to check your analytical approach. So if they give you some hypothetical condition, so just apply an analytical calculation. Okay, okay, if this is this, then this much should be this effect and it should give output 
of approximately this value so this is the analytical idea so first thing is concept second thing is analytical idea both things are important once in an interview uh, somebody asked me that uh, is there any charge on the photon i said no then they said why not how you can say that there is no charge on the photo and then i replied that okay so let us consider we have a 10 watt bulb and in the case of a 10 watt bulb this number of photons will come out if these number of photons have one electron charge on each in that case this will be the total amount of charge and the force caused by this kind of charge is uh, able to lift the earth or even shift the earth that force doesn't exist around us that's why i can say that there is no charge on the photon so the teacher was very much impressed by this answer uh, so in this way they they just want to check your analytical approach so with concept analytical idea is also important so in this third point so there are two things conceptual approach and analytical idea so try to show them your knowledge using your analytical idea now i'm going to tell you the fourth part which is the most 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 important part so basically i'm talking about research interviews and in that case they appreciate your approach so what is your approach on, uh, towards a particular question so sometimes uh, when they ask some question you may know its answer but don't jump to the conclusion too fast first try to understand that question because they will not ask uh, a very very easy question to you so they will ask something tricky and they appreciate your approach so it's it's not necessary that you know the exact answer even if you know the exact answer don't jump to the conclusion too fast so take your time okay if this is like this then this should happen like this just just try to show you analytical powers and then it means this will show result like this and the output should be like this take your time and then express your feelings express your answer and the most important part in this is always leave threads for the next question so leave something or use some particular word which you want that they sh they ask you the next question on this point leave a question mark so then they will surely go through that path they will ask okay okay what is that so they, they will ask and then you can okay then you again approach analytically towards that and then again leave a thread for the next question every time with each explanation leave a thread for the next question so you are more than 50 percent responsible for what they are going to ask you first of all you are going to tell them your favorite subject so they will uh, move around that and finally when you are leaving some threads for the next question so they will stick to that subject now finally uh, i can summarize these four parts the first part is choose your best two subjects including the subject you want to opt for your research second thing if you don't know say i don't know or this is not my best subject or this stream i am not comfortable so you can say these words so no bluffing no hesitation no haste so this formula you should understand and apply in those research interviews point number three is think conceptually use analytical ideas to express the answer and finally they appreciate your approach so don't jump to the conclusion too quickly take your time and then comfortably okay move to the concepts okay this is like this so this should happen like this and then slowly slowly approach to the answer and also leave the threads for your next question so that they ask the particular question from that field only in this way you can guide your own interview and get best results out of it if you have any query you can post them in the comment section don't forget to like share subscribe i will see you in my next video with a similar kind of concept take care and have a very good day